first of all, what an insane night you've had today. We need to start talking about that because SummerSlam, you were supposed to have your match against Sasha Banks. However, that did not end up going the way that that was planned. And instead, we had a big grand surprise of Becky Lynch. I want to get your emotions. How are you feeling right now? Uh, right now, I'm just trying to collect my thoughts, get my mind together. Everything happened so quickly and so fast. I was ready to fight Sasha Banks, and Becky came out, which was an amazing moment. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of that moment, but I lost my title. And right now, I'm just emotional and trying to wrap my mind around it. And, um, you know, I have to be honest. I, I feel defeated right now, and I'm okay with, with, with being vulnerable and, and being honest about that, but I'm ready to get my title back. How did you feel? What was that moment like when you heard Becky Lynch's music play and then you hear like, like 50,000 plus people erupt into madness? What was it like to be the person in the ring knowing that she was coming after you and your championship? It was bittersweet. You know, Becky Lynch, what she's accomplished inside and outside the ring, she's the man, um, she's a legend in the making. So it was bittersweet to know that she was coming out and to hear that pop from the crowd and hear the vibration from the WWE Universe. It's, it's nothing like you've ever felt before. So to be in the ring and feel all of that was amazing. But at the same time, I was a SmackDown Women's Champion. I knew she was coming for my title. So it was bittersweet. Um, and I'm just... I can't help but to be a little sad about the situation and just ready to get back in there and get my rematch because I deserve a rematch. I was going to say because, you know, this match between you and Becky Lynch happened very, very fast. I think the fans, the entire WWE Universe, essentially, they want to see more because they know what you can bring to the table. So I think that's what we're looking forward to. So with that being said, obviously now she's SmackDown Women's Champion. She's now on your turf on the blue brand. What do you think we're going to be seeing in the following weeks on SmackDown? You know, just hearing Becky Lynch's name and SmackDown Miss Champion in the same sentence makes me uh, a little hyped up right now. I'm even swaying back and forth. It, it makes me feel a certain way, but I, I want my rematch. Um, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to fight. I call myself the EST of WWE for a reason, and I, I'm the strongest and the roughest, the toughest, the quickest, the greatest, the best. And I'm down to prove that against Becky Lynch. I've been a competitor my whole life, and I know that to be the best, you have to get in the ring with the best. So. Right now, I'm looking forward to getting a ring with Becky Lynch and proving that I am the EST of WWE. And I don't think we can say that it's officially done with you and Sasha Banks either because now, obviously, everybody still wants to see that, especially after all the words that were shared between you, between you both. So do you have any words for Sasha Banks? All I can say is tonight it couldn't happen with Sasha Banks, but coming soon, it will be a point in time where it will be Sasha Banks and I in the ring again. So we're going to definitely finish what we started off. And, you know, it's been a tough couple of weeks with Sasha Banks, and I was ready to, ready to put an end to her tonight. So whenever that time happens, I'm going to be ready to put an end to her again and then move over on to Becky. Now, Bianca, last question. On a happier note, you have had an, a tremendous year in WWE, moving up to the main roster, winning the Royal Rumble, having your WrestleMania moment, all of that. It's been so much. I mean, I know it's a broad question, but how do you feel about everything that's happened to you and your career? I just feel like I've accomplished so much in the span of six months, four months, um, you know, just winning the Royal Rumble, main eventing at WrestleMania with Sasha Banks, making history, winning an SB. I've accomplished so much, and I just want to use that momentum, but I also just want to be grateful. I'm so grateful, and I'm blessed to be in the position that I was in. I got a, a little taste of what that feels like, and so it hurts to, to know that um, it's not coming to an end. It's just a little bump in the road. It's a little hurdle that I have to cross, and I want to get that feeling back, and, and I'm going to get that feeling back, and I think I have everyone that, 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 that wants that to enjoy that with me because that's what I loved about my title ring. It, 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 it involved everyone. It was for everyone. So I'm ready to get everyone back on that journey with me. I love it. Thank you so much, Bianca. Thank you. Thank you.